Hello everyone, so we just had Mobius release into the game as the newest Marvel Snap card. He is a two cost, three power, which is absurd for his ability. He has the ongoing ability, your costs can't be increased, your opponent's costs can't be reduced. This is an incredibly powerful effect that cancels out things like She-Hulk, Death, Sarah, Zabu, or even Wave to give you a lot more benefit than what the opponent can have in most cases. Now you can use this both offensively alongside like a wave or just defensively teched in into a deck that you want to be able to drop multiple cards on the last turn. So think somewhere along the lines of like a Kitty Pride deck. You want to be able to do Kitty Pride plus like a Taskmaster on the last turn. You need protection against that wave that is very, very common right now. And so today we're going to be running it in a high evolutionary deck. The high evo wave deck is the perfect shell for this. High Evil Wave was already a high performing deck, but being able to get even a little bit more edge in certain games or certain scenarios can be that much of a difference maker in that consistency driver. And so especially with High Evo being featured in the spotlight caches this week, I wanted to focus on a High Evo build for any of my new players that ended up grabbing High Evo today. And so I'm going to keep the deck explanation kind of short. You may be able to tell my voice is kind of going out a little bit. I'm going to keep it short. We're going to jump into a couple of games. Thank you guys, as always, for being here. I hope you guys enjoy. They have the Angela. Our Cyclops pulls into mid. Unfortunate. Uh, but it is going to negatively afflict their cards every turn. So that's that's something. Then we can go something like this. Our, our Hulk is going to be a 22 power behemoth. Um, they do have the Shuri into Kitty Pride, So they will probably have the Taskmaster. Uh, the Kitty Pride is 14. So that gets pretty big, pretty buffed, pretty quick. Um, can we beat it? Oh, man. And then our squirrel pulls over. Ugh. The good thing is they'll have to do something into mid, uh, or else they lose it. Uh, or potentially lose it with the Misty Knight. It's a gut read, but we're going to move uh, Jeff to the right, uh, the Hulk in the left, and hope that it is enough. The Kitty Pride in the left lane comes down. Ooh, that is one short, my friend, over there. We do win the right lane from moving the Jeff. I guess we didn't need to move the Jeff. Um, they lose the, the left lane, Mobius actually pulls over, and so then they lose the left lane a little bit further, but we are able to hold it down. Not a clean win, it's a Mobius versus Mobius, which I think is going to be a pretty common uh, occurrence for at least a couple of days. Let's jump into the next one. Alright, next up we have King Venom. Uh, we do have Sunspot, so we'll be able to absorb extra energy. We have Mobius, so if we end up drawing into Wave, fantastic. Um, we have Jeff as well. Ooh, there's the, speaking of, there is the wave. We can always save Dr. Doom plus Jeff on a turn together. Um, so we wave on five into the Dr. Doom for four, and then the Jeff for, uh, Jeff for two, which is kind of cool. They have the Mobius down, so never mind. Our cards cannot be reduced. Uh, so this would, the wave is no longer, they have a wave as well. Okay, so it's all mirror matches tonight, you guys. Like this, that's all that I'm facing is uh, complete mirrors. Really, really unfortunate. But he's a popular card. People are using him in any kind of wave package that can be ran. Um, and so it makes sense. It's really unfortunate. we we'll go ahead and throw a Jeff over here. Uh, we probably end up moving it and drop either a Hulk or the Doctor Doom in the left lane. It really depends on how much they really flood out. Uh, this looks like maybe Sarah Tech. Um, with the Bishop, I would assume they probably have a Shang-Chi, a few other cards. The wave is going to be a wasted because we both kind of nullify each other's out. Ours can't be increased, but they can't be reduced. Same thing on the other end. Um, and so we kind of balance it out. They do have the Kitty Pride. Um, if we ended up doing something like armor... That would allow us to absorb here. Even if it goes above nine, that's fine. I don't know. It's kind of risky. But then uh, that allows us to do like a Hulk in the left lane and then move Jeff over. Depends on like how much they really push for these other lanes. They do flood a couple of cards. I'm hit monkey is wild here. Okay. Um, and then the Kitty Pride. What is the last card in this right lane? Iceman. Interesting. So we absorb, we are, we win the right lane, as is. Craziness. And so does it come down to an Eliath line? Um, like, who, who can call out the Eliath correctly? Probably. I guess not even, it doesn't even come down to Eliath. We can move Jeff over, we can do Hulk here. 
If they do Eliath here, then we win with the Jeff in this lane. They could do Shang-Chi in the left lane and then have uh, like the Kitty Pride here potentially, but that's a very gutsy call. All right, next up we have Luke time. Uh, the first location is Vormir. So if we draw armor, great. Otherwise, maybe we try to position like a Jeff that moves over there or a Dr. Doom. Uh, could be nice. We have Mobius and Wave. They are going the high evolutionary package as well. Like it's all mirror matches that I'm facing tonight, you guys. I I like to bring, uh, I like to bring varied, varied matches, varied matchups. But it's just eh, almost every game, either a Sarah Tech or like a high evolutionary lockdown style, and it's just I, like there's only so much that you can do. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do Mobius. We're letting our Hulk scale. Um, which is why we didn't play anything last turn. Uh, the Nebula in the left lane will have to let sit for this turn, but then after Vormir moves away because of the Starlight Citadel, it will be perfect. Um, it'll be a perfect target. So let's do this next turn. We're looking at maybe a Sunspot plus Wave um, into, like a, into like a Hulk would be pretty decent for us. Now the Nebula is unfortunate. They skip here. Um, we don't have to worry about She-Hulk anymore. Any kind of She-Hulk decks that were prevalent um are definitely not so much prevalent now let's go with the wave let's go with uh let's go with the wave and then sunspot we have dr doom to reach further here if we need to plus we can do the nebula or maybe we do nebula this turn into something plus sunspot next turn that way it has a chance of scaling we're gonna do the sunspot first we're gonna stop this nebula from scaling uh, they do play for the right lane with a Cyclops of their own. I'm glad we did not end up playing over there because we would be negatively afflicted. Now, we do use Wave. They don't have Mobius down, so they're not going to be able to do multiple cards like we will. We'll see. Um, we will see. They have initiative here, unfortunately. I'm going to do this. This allows us to have five, six. No, because their, their Cyclops is going to trigger there. We're going to do this number. Um, this would win us here. This would win us here because we stop them from scaling our scales and absorbs. Um, and then whatever they play, unless it's a Dr. Doom, maybe their, their Dr. Doom line can do it for them. They do play the Doom in the left lane that stops us from scaling. But I think the tiebreaker, actually not even a tiebreaker because our Cyclops does still trigger because we had the extra energy and we got to play two cards. So we stopped their Nebula from scaling when they only had the one. All right, next up is DVS. Uh, we have the Nebula in our opening hand. Uh, we have our Mobius, and we have Cyclops armor. We have some really good cards. As long as we get waved by the end of the game, I I mean, they could have Mobius as well. That would really be, I think, the only point that could save them. Uh, so let's go Mobius in the left lane. Uh, let's do Mobius in mid. We're going to do Mobius in mid, try to fight for that location. Uh, probably not our Cyclops next turn, but maybe... We could, I mean, we could do Cyclops. Or we could do Armor, Sunspot, next turn, do the Cyclops. We get a free Raft resource. We have the Doc, We have the Hulk that'll start scaling. We can just give them Eternity Range if they want to fight for it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and double down. Feeling pretty confident. Uh, Sunspot, I, I assume it's High Evo. <laughs> we should probably start running a deck that has Killmonger. Uh, just because it becomes so common. Uh, of a of a deck right now they have the mobius uh so no wave for us but that's okay we will be able to cap out this lane unless we wanted to do jeff then we could always backtrack on it but i like the idea of cyclops cyclops is going to give all of our scaling in this lane and just be such a powerhouse to deal with um we get thanos out of the raft which is a pretty decent bump for us uh they have a cyclops there as well plus the misty knight unfortunately actually the free resource for both of us is no longer free interesting um kind of unfortunate but <clears throat> we have the nebula here so we should outscale them keyword being should should be able to outscale them i think we can just do a hulk on the last turn and hold it down unless it's against a an eliath maybe it gives us trouble at that point And so they skipped. Uh, we can force a tie. We can force a tie with... No, we can't. If they do anything other than a, a six cost, 
we can't force a tie because they can absorb, they can negatively afflict, all yada, yada, yada. I think we just Jeff. Honestly, it's a weird play, but I think we just Jeff somewhere and hope that they don't outscale us both of these so that we can absorb and negatively afflict with our Cyclops. All right, next up, the first location is the White Hot Room. We have a one into two into three curve. If we can get another one cost card, then we should be able to cap out this lane relatively early with the Nebula, the Mobius Jeff, and then the additional card. So we're looking for the Sunspot for the Misty Knight. If we can get it, especially if we get armor, then uh, it's definitely a snap worthy. So the Tinker's Workshop comes down. We have three energy this turn. Nah, we don't get lucky. Okay, let's go Mobius, just because we can. Um, they have three energy. They go Electro. Un fortunate that they go electro we can do jeff plus wave maybe i don't know i don't know we'll see they go wave of their own Ugh. awful now the good thing is we can do dr doom we can get the extra energy from the white hot room we can still push for one of these lanes i can't move this out or else we risk the chance of not getting this so i think we're gonna do dr doom jeff that will give us uh five power in these lanes so that we can kind of fight for it Whoa, they drop into White Hot Room. Not what I was expecting. They go Vision instead. Very interesting. Um, I'm guessing they did not get their ideal curve or their ideal play. So they don't have a Mobius inbound. They can only do one card per turn anyway. So do we need to wave? I guess it would bring our Hulk down. Yeah, let's go ahead and wave. Let's go wave plus Sunspot and snap. The wave will bring our Hulk down to four. Okay, we do get the retreat. All right, our next opponent is Karim. Uh, the first location is Miniaturized Lab, which is going to be great for our Nebula. Uh, we're going to do Misty Knight, and then we'll do Nebula next turn. Uh, that way, they don't necessarily know that the Nebula is going to be placed there. Um, we can kind of sneak it in. Now, if they have a kill... Is White Hot Room featured? Because this is like three games in a row that I've gotten White Hot Room. I'm going to go Nebula in the left lane. We're not necessarily going to fight for White, White Hot Room yet. Wow, uh, the Bifrost. Interesting. Okay, so let's go with the good old Jeff. Good old Jeff over here. They're going to move over into White Hot Room, which will be fine. Uh, Electro. So we have to look out for... It's an Eliath Electro ramp. Galactus could be a very viable line. We have to look out for all of those things now. Uh, so let's go Sunspot plus Armor. They won't be able to play here on five, so this would be really the only focal point. Um, and then everything is going to push into Bifrost. I think we're okay, but we'll see. They do play into the Bifrost. Let's see what they end up uh, end up dropping. Devil Dino. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So Wave is not something that we need to do anymore, but White Hot Room gives us a lot of benefit where the opponent just can't compete for it. Like, they can't do anything for it. So let's throw Mobius down just in case they do something. I don't think they ever do wave, right? I'm going to do Mobius anyways. It's only one extra power less, but we scale two extra in the Sunspot. I think it's worth it. We are going to get the White Hot Room bonus, so we'll have three extra energy on this last turn. The Galactus is not going to trigger. I assume they're going to go Arnold Zola. They're going to try to be really cheeky with it, and they're going to try to hit it with an Arnold Zola to move it over here. We are not going to allow that to happen. We have the six. <clears throat> we can move the uh, the Jeff over. That would bring us up to 13, scaling 14, 15, 16, actually. But if they play one card like Arnold Zola, this goes down. We should win this right lane by one. We can win the left lane, win mid. I don't... Oh, they have initiative. Interesting. I'm not, not what I was expecting. Not the play I was expecting. I'm a little bit uh, lost for words. The leader I was not anticipating. We are going to go ahead and end the video after that one. Thank you guys as always for being here. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoy Mobius being released into the game. I think we'll see a lot less Loki. That doesn't necessarily mean that all the decks that are annoying will be gone. But I think Loki will be a little bit less prevalent for a little while at least. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and a comment down below. As always, this has been TLSG. Later, guys.